Hello there all you city painters, this here's Mr. Dean. Let's talk about using some mods to get the most out of your city. Oh, here's the city I have here. Look at it go. And let's go ahead and do a little bit of zoning. Okay, I'll zone that and... Hey, wait a minute. I don't have anything else zoned. How is it I've got buildings, but, but nothing zoned? How do they live? I mean, they got people in them and everything. How did I do that? Well... Calm down, everybody, and let's get rid of that zoning because it's really not needed with the mods I've got. I'm going to show you how you can have a city like this where all the buildings are in place and they don't despawn or anything like that. All you need are a couple of cool mods. Number one, you need Find It. Find It allows you to find things. So let's say I've been watching Larry Skyline's latest set of videos about the one by one city and I want to replicate that kind of grandeur here. Well, I can set this for one by one. I have all my one by one buildings. I'm going to start with some residential. I'll select that. And there we go. I've got all these nice one by one buildings. I'll, I'll take this one here. I like a, a tall villa. There we go. And I'll put it right there. Oh, that's beautiful and perfect and everything I want. Maybe not what you want, but it's what I want. And it's looking great. And it's got households it's coming in at level four and hey how is it i've got this level control here where i could change it well that comes from one of the mods i've got so i've used find it to place it now let's look at the other ones i go to options and i go to advanced building level control that's the one that allowed me to change the building level well what else it does is it means no abandonment for historical or all buildings now that's very important. No abandonment means that nobody ever leaves it. No matter how bad the problems are, nobody leaves the building. It stays where it is. It stays functional. So in the vanilla game, there are problems that will happen with commercial and industrial and office buildings where they don't have enough jobs or not enough goods and they shut down and they get shuttered up and it tends to have a chain reaction with other buildings in the area. Sometimes they come back, sometimes they don't. You just have to bulldoze them and bring them back. Well, this means no abandonment. So no matter how bad they are, they ride out that storm and they stay on the map. Advanced building level control. The other one I need is RICO Revisited 2412. RICO stands for Residential Industrial Commercial Office. The choices I have here. I am allowed to plop growable buildings. No construction. You saw me just drop it right there. That's exactly the one I wanted. Growable buildings outside the correct zone will survive now. I've set it up that way. I could I could have zoned that uh, industrial and then put the residential in there. It would have been fine. They can survive without required district specializations. Yep, just drop them right on in. They're all historical. That building is historical. If I try to bulldoze it, it will prompt me and say, do you want to bulldoze a historical building? I'll say, yeah, sure. They're locked using advanced building level control. And I've prevented styles from removing existing buildings. So if I accidentally overlay it with a style that does just say the college housing, well, that one will stay there. New stuff will grow with college housing, but since I didn't zone anything, nothing will grow. <laughs> Ploppable options. There's the word, it has the prompt to uh, bulldoze or not, uh, I, I, I leave it there. And whether or not you're going to have low land value or too few service complaints. Now, this just suppresses the image. If you want to actually change the game mechanic, that's going to be in Game Anarchy here, where you can do things to help out there. But in Rico Revisited, the key here is that you can plop the buildings where you want, even without zoning, and that they'll stay there. And advanced building level control, they'll really stay there because they'll never be abandoned. So that's how he's there. And if I want to put a commercial building right next to him, why zone? I go over here, and I will pick a commercial building. Here are my commercial one-by-ones. Ooh, I like this New Zealand one. There it is. Now another cool trick. If I've got Road Anarchy turned on, and now I do and I use my move it mod, 
I can take this building and shove it into the other one. And I could take this other building, maybe, there we go, and pull it back a wee bit so that way it looks like the two are one. Uh, right there. They're lined up good. Ah, now that kind of flat front there that looked kind of bland now has this green grocer in front of it. Say, that looks pretty sharp, Mr. Dean. Why, thank you, Mr. Dean. So I've used Move It, Road Anarchy as bonus mods, but the core mods I want you to focus on are Find It, which allows you to find things, and you can type in you know, key words and phrases like you see there. Select all kinds of zonable things as well as non-zonable things and props and roads and all sorts of cool stuff in there. Find it mod. And the ones that are acting behind the scenes. Advanced building level control. And Rico Revisited. Those are the ones that you want to have to grow buildings the way you want to grow them. Well, I hope this has been informative. I'm Mr. Dean. Have fun city painting. Like, comment, and subscribe. It doesn't hurt to be nice. And we'll see you later. Bye for now.